Okay, so I've got my um, polish, which is just a, a cheap sort of colour collection. It's a really nice, big, wide brush on it, which is why I like it. But I can't remember, I think you you might have ink polishes. I'm not sure what you've got in your kit. But the main thing is when you want to open them up, you just want to roll them in your hand just to get them moving so they may have separated you don't want to shake them otherwise you end up with air bubbles in them so i'm going to open it again if you can hold it and i'm just putting the brush if you can see the brush in the pot there putting the brush out and then i'm just capping it at the top and then i bring it to the toenail now it's going to look, you need to leave a little bit of a hairline gap, but I can't, where I'm leaving it here is where her cuticle is. Now, as I said before, when we do the pedicure, I would have got rid of that cuticle so I could get lower, but I can't because we haven't removed that. So I'm going to show you how to do that on the practical day. And I'm just using my brush. I spread it right out as far as it will go, stop it. And then I pull it up, just pull it up the side there. And then I tidy up with what I've got left of the nail varnish. If I've got any little gaps that you might have left, we can pick that up on the second coat. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next one. So I don't need as much on my brush. So I'm just going to bring it again to the middle. Get as close up to the skin without touching it. It will not stick to the skin. So we can't, there's no point in putting it on. If you did, it would just wash off when they got in the shower or the bath. But you don't really, it's unnecessary chemical on the skin. It would cause allergies if I deliberately left it on there. So we just try not to get it on there in the first place. And then on that last toenail, she's got quite a bit of cuticle on that little toenail. Okay, we let that dry. Normally, by the time I've done my base and then I've done my colour, I, I normally would do the base on both feet. And then the colour on both feet. So by the time I finish the colour on the other foot, this foot would be dry. So I'm just going to let it dry off and then I'll come back um, in the next stage and show you the next coat.